guys, this is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your daily horoscope and energy reading for July 26th. And, you know, overall, I think today is going to be a pretty positive day, guys. I think there's definitely energy in here that you can pull out and you can say, oh, God, we've got a quincunx and we've got opposition. We've definitely got a bunch of squaring going off in Jupiter. But trying energy really is speaking to me. You had a big karmic day possibly yesterday or thought about old karmic issues. Today, I think... Saturn is easing the noose a little bit and, like, helping you think about it more relaxed. Like, like Saturn's at the end of the transit. When it's in those last degrees, it, you know, it wants to hammer these things home. But it's not like back in 2012 and 2014 when it was hammering at home while we were having Pluto Uranus squares. Like, it's not like that. It's 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 like giving you a really tough course and then giving you some time to study for it. It's the kind of the way that I see this week it feels like to me. Um, the moon and Saturn are still you know, teaming up, but, oh, the moon is moving into Sagittarius. Now, Sagittarius and Scorpio energy are kind of cool energies together. And they're both trining Mars. So let, let's talk about if you have the moon, a moon in Sagittarius. You know, you're disconnected emotionally. You're not as intense as you were sitting in there in Scorpio. It's time to think about this stuff on a really, really, really big scale. We're talking about using your entire mind and broadening your thinking to really encompass what, what, look, you have received a message this entire week. Many, but very, very directional. All the messages, no matter what you received, was in a specific direction. I am positive of it. It is somewhat karmic based, but it pertains to your current time. So I think you just need to use all of your mental faculties to really process this and take emotion away from it. Um, and if something does come up emotionally, I think you're going to have the passion. I think it, it will come up in your home and family or something to do with with you know your past um definitely your past um maybe you just need to you know take a look at how you grew up this week and you need to take a look at how vulnerable it's made you to being a certain way uh definitely with a female energy um for sure with a female energy this week was about a female energy um, and how that female energy really influenced you during very prominent years in your life. Um, and what you put up with and, and what you saw as a role model. I feel like, I don't know, female energy, I don't know why. You know, even though we're in masculine energy, look, we got a moon in a masculine energy. We've got Mercury in a masculine energy, and we've got um, the sun in a masculine energy. So this is all about proceeding forward. Look, we're, we're detaching from all of this nurturing energy and all this, this feminine energy, and we're going into a masculine mindset. And when you go into a masculine mindset, it's you can categorize and put things into categories of like, you know, I'm at work. This is my category. I'm dealing with work. I can deal with that emotional issue later in the privacy of my own home. But you're gonna this. You're gonna be. You're gonna be very analytical about it. And you know, you've got the higher mind, Sagittarius, in your emotional well-being, right? In your emotions. And then you've got Venus and Virgo. You know, you've got 
Virgo energy, which is ruled by Mercury, it's all sitting in that that's your lower level thinking day to day routine, that sort of thing. And so these two are teaming up to like set you up for some sort of success. But on but it has to be on this big scale that, you know, that I think yesterday opened up something to you that really, I think, was almost like an epiphany. You know, it, it can be something that you're idolizing and that it's not based on reality because Neptune is still sitting in Pisces, but it's also retrograde. And so, and then you've got Venus in Virgo in retrograde. So, you know, perhaps you idealized a lifestyle or a lifestyle choice or you idealized your life in general and you didn't want to really look at who you really, really are. Um... But that's not being that's not being supported by the universe. The universe is saying it's taking practical Virgo energy and it's saying, you know, how do you treat others? How do you how do you partner with others? What do you take from them? What do you give back? You know, Virgo is a very service oriented energy. And, you know, you can't just get something for for nothing like you have to give at some point it back and so I think you're going to be looking at that I really do I think you're going to be I think you're going to be held accountable for idealizing and uh sucking people into a certain your idealized image that you couldn't possibly give to them and there's some accountability there. Um, and then there's the point where you got to talk it out. You know, you got to meet in the middle. And you got to, it can't be all analytical, but it can't be all fantasy based. Like there's a middle. Um, another energy that really pops to me is, you know, Jupiter and Venus are working very closely together. So really wanting you to expand your thinking about how you treat others, how you serve others, your service to others, um, your accountability to others, how you partner with others, how you, how you, what are your routines? What are your, your physical and mental um, well-being routines? You know, are they healthy? Um, and they're teamed up to really expand your mind in those areas and to really really make you see that there's there's a higher potential there. there it's squaring off with the moon in Sagittarius and Saturn in Scorpio again um you know Saturn and and Jupiter aren't seeing eye to eye in how you're learning your lessons and so you're going to feel very opposed in the messages that you're receiving you know you just want to be almost self-indulgent but there's there's a lot of accountability in today that you're not going to get from the universe, and and you'll it'll be a benefit day if you really really broaden your mind and open yourself up to changing some things about yourself that the universe isn't exactly supporting. Saturn is trying to tie these things up, and it's really putting an obstacle for um, Jupiter to be very benefic. Jupiter probably will be benefic if you are a person setting up positive routines. You know what? If you decide you have an unhealthy habit and that you need to overcome it, that is when this square is really going to open up to you. And that is when Jupiter is going to really, really expand opportunity in that area to really take care of it. You have to have the square to see what that area is. You can't just experience a trine and ever understand that that's an area of focus. So whatever comes up today, it's, it, this is only to push you forward. You know, Venus doesn't have much time to work in Virgo, and this transit is happening for a reason. And so this is all about something that you're doing with others or some somehow you're relating to others or somehow – you know what? You're not involved in really healthy routines anymore. Um, and it's time for you to take a look at the others in your life and think, are those people the reason why, you know, I drink every night or I do drugs or I, you know, or I smoke dope or, you know, I, um, 
you know, get on self, I'm involved in self-destructive behaviors or, you know, do they help generate a negative impression of what I want in my life? I mean, it's, it's, you know, it is really time to start taking a look at that because we're talking about elevating our vibration and you can't do that if the others in your life are lowering your vibration. There's a gorgeous energy that I always like to leave. You know, I love to focus on one energy. So let's talk about it. In order for you to create the stability that you so deeply desire right now, we're done with unstable drama, crazy world. Um, you've got to start idealizing and opt. Don't picture your life right now. Your life right now, I can guarantee you, not ideal. There's something in your life that needs to change. Scorpio's working its magic. I, I don't care if you are in the prime of your life and everything is going great and opportunities are being given to you right and left because you are on the sweet side of this Jupiter and Leo transit. Understand that you still have to make a choice to take that opportunity. Everybody is in a little state of transition. And so you really need to take a look at that and really, really accept where you're at and that and that's I don't think that's always easy it sounds easy but I think you know if you want life to just stay the exact same way that it is right now so that you don't get hurt and you don't have to make a change wow are you gonna be the one experiencing every Queen Kong square and opposition this week good luck for you <laughs> I don't want to be you I would much rather Sit down in, in Saturn's you know, little classroom and pay attention and just do the work. When the, when the work is being asked of you, turn it in, meet the deadline, do the routine. You know, set up a healthy routine, a regiment. You know, I've been eating better. I've been working out more. You know what? Life handed me my butt last week. But you know what? Went and worked out, swam, paddle boarded, and, you know, ate stuffed mushrooms and lots of vegetables. And normally I emotionally binge eat when I am very upset. And you know what? I'm very proud of myself. I didn't do that this time. Like, I kept it together. And that is some things that are turning around for me. So I, I know this energy, especially this Virgo energy in it, is really, really encouraging us. Even though it's debilitating, it's really, really encouraging us to overcome our own obstacles that we create for ourselves. You guys, I hope you have a fantastic and wonderful week. And I look forward to talking to you guys again next week. Bye.